If you ever ask yourself how to buy a short sale, then you come to the right place, although the answer may not be what you're expecting. Hi, I'm Don Thornton. I'm known as Don the Short Sale Guy. I've been doing short sale investing almost exclusively for 20 years, and I have sold, flipped, sold uh, a ton of short sales, at least 1,500 in that period of time. So the first thing you need to do is look out for, reach out and find a company that specializes in short sales. I know that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm telling you that if there's a lot of people out there, especially real estate agents, and I'm a real estate agent myself, so you know I, I have solidarity with them. It's not their fault. It's just that the ones that try to do short sales and they don't specialize in them, uh, they make a lot of mistakes and you can be hung out to dry for months and months and months, which is why short sales have a bad name or a bad reputation in the market. And it's because it's not necessarily because the banks are so intransigent about them. It actually just a lot of it is because uh, the real estate agents or the companies that specialize in them don't know how to do them very well. And so um, you put a contract in and you can get stuck uh, for a, a long period of time and your escrow money is in, in, in the title company and you get more and more frustrated. Maybe you're worried about the market changing and you're just like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore or whatever. When actually short sales can be very, very profitable and you can find lots of under market uh, properties out there. If you, again, you had to find a company that knows how to do them and that's us. Because we've been doing it for so long, and I think right now we have like 60 or something short sales that we have uh, for sale in various stages of the short sale process, and we're really good at them, and we, we generally get them closed, and we get them closed quickly, and it's it's not as pain, it's it's much more painless than you would have with, with other people. In fact, I think in, I, I, we did a recent study, uh, we did an analysis of the um, local MLS in, you know, in our part of Florida, like Central Florida, and I think we had like, I don't know, 60 something short sales going and the, the real estate agent that had the second most short sale listings was two, which just goes to show you that here in Florida, we dominate and we are on our way to uh, moving our business nationwide to start dominating in other states as well. So um, if you find this topic interesting and if you watch my other videos, I would love it if you could just go down and go to the button and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that way you can be notified whenever I upload a new short sale video because I'm throwing all this 20 years of knowledge here. I'm throwing it all out there and I hope you find value from it. Uh, my second advice would be on how to buy a short sale is only put offers in on bank approved prices and you can general no, real, real estate agents generally will put that in the listing if they don't then you need to ask them where they are in the process i would not necessarily recommend that you put your offer in on a brand new short sale because it has it's like you have to season it it has to go through a certain you know certain stages before it's going to be ready to be sold and one of the things you need to understand is that whatever listing price is out there initially that's not going to be what it sells at because the bank has to do what they call either a bpo which is a broker's price opinion that's where a real estate agent is hired by the bank to go in and take eight pictures and look at give the, the bank three comparable sales in the area or a full-blown appraisal, which we all know what that is. A licensed appraiser will go out and give his or her opinion about the uh, condition of the property and uh, the sales in the area. And sometimes it's both. In fact, a lot of times it's both. I can tell you right now that if it's a VA, USDA, or FHA, they're going to do a full-blown appraisal. So you really don't know where you're at until that number comes back. Now, if the real estate agent is smart, like we are, our company is, then they're going to, they know how to do a value dispute. And so they can get that bank, that price down more to where it gets actually under, you know, under market value, which is what we are always striving for. So um, you want to focus on the ones that have already gone through at least that part of the process. Because generally what happens is that the initial buyer is going to walk because they, think that they're going to get a better deal and they don't want to wait around for a value dispute. So very often, I would say almost 90% of the time when we put a new short sale out there, the initial buyer does not buy the property. Okay. Now I would love it if you could go down into the description or excuse me, down below and comment. 
comment on on what give me your opinion what do you think about this i mean uh this is is this uh do you have any questions do you want me to go over anything in greater detail any other subjects relating to foreclosures and short sales i would love to get your feedback so i can give you the videos that uh you would like for me to uh to make for you so please do that comment below thank you the la the, the uh second uh, third point i should say that i want to make is that if you're going to buy to how to buy a short sale is be ready to close okay now it may be cash it may be financing it doesn't really matter you can use financing to buy short sales but the main thing is that you need to be ready to close when the approval limit comes now recently some banks have started extending the uh termination date on a on a, on a uh, uh, short sale approval from 30 days until 90 days but again, that just depends, but I would be ready to close. And that the biggest issue that we have when we finally get you know, a uh, short sale approval is that the buyers are still not ready. Their financing still isn't ready to go. So you, if you put an offer in with financing on a bank approved price, you need to already have gone through the entire process. So that way you've got a clear to close from your lender, a loan commitment and a clear to close. Your survey is done, your appraisal is done and everything's ready to go because you're going to want to move on it because short sales can be a little bit, you know, they're, they're, they're a whole different animal. So you want to be able to, once you get that approval and you want to close on it. So what I want you to do is I want you to go down to the description of the video. I want you to go there and you can reach out to me. I have a couple of websites down there that you need. If you're looking to buy short sales, please click on that link are those links, there's two of them, and reach out to me and we can get you into our preferred buyers network. And you're gonna get a lot of advantage from that because we streamline everything for you and we can even provide you an agent if you don't have one because the bank requires two agents. So a lot of, lot of benefits that come by, by going into our preferred buyers network. And if you are an investor and you would like to learn how to do short sales uh, and work with us, I should say, and you want to make money on them. And I, I can even show you how you can make passive income on short sales. Again, reach, go to the description, reach out to me. And I would love to go over everything in greater detail. But I want to thank you for your time to watch this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.